today we are doing a dorm room three ways video. This is a much requested video from you guys to do dorm room decorating. And of course, we couldn't just do one dorm room. Oh no, we have to do it three ways because everyone out there has different styles. So we're gonna do a boho room. We're gonna do a unisex graphic art room. And then we're gonna do a fun pop of color, girly pink, fun, fun, fun room. We have a dorm room set up here, which is as close as we could get to what you may encounter when you walk in to your dorm room, plain bed, plain desk. Oh, how to make it exciting. Uh, there's lots of ways. And don't worry, we are going to be following the rules, the dorm room rules. But I know not all of you are in college or going to college like me out of college for a while. These tips and tricks you can use in a lot of different spaces, small rooms, rentals, if you can't punch holes in the, no, don't punch holes in the wall. <laughs> Don't do that, just nail holes in the wall. And you know what else is going on? Hashtag Mr. Kate one million. If you want to be our friend, part of our creative weirdo family, please hit the subscribe button. It would mean a lot to me and the team to be able to keep bringing you these fun videos. So subscribe, it's super easy. Mr. Kate one million, we wanna to get to a million subscribers before the end of the year, ah! So I'll stop blabbing and let's get to decorating. Bohemian inspired design can work with lots of different color palettes, but for this peaceful space, I'm sticking with all neutrals and then using texture and metallics to bring in complexity. Start with the ground up and add a cream colored wool rug. The bedding is off-white paired with an off-white linen duvet cover over a super fluffy comforter and some luxurious pillows. Above the bed, I'm using a curtain panel that has crochet at the bottom attached to the wall with some command strip tape, very dorm friendly. Plants like an indoor friendly palm are great to use in boho style spaces. In dorm rooms, your bed is your couch, so turn your bed into more of a day bed style by adding throw pillows along the back wall. Above the bed, I'm adding some eclectic decor elements like our DIY moon pendant, small framed art, and a hat, all attached with command hooks. Notice that this cluster plays with asymmetry and negative space. Bring in your own side tables like these mirrored moon tables, so cute, and accessorize with neutral and functional accessories like a mug, ring tower, candle, and plant, etc. Above the side tables, you can hang a cluster of plug-in pendant lights with, yep, some more command hooks. A Moroccan poof on the floor brings in more seating options. Oh, and speaking of seats, replace that ugly dorm chair with a flea market find like this caned chair. For extra storage under the desk, add an old suitcase. Above the desk, a black and white photo of the ocean and a sketch brings in a peaceful vibe. Add personality to your desktop or back of your chair with a vintage camera, DIY wall pocket, and other functional items like a mirror, basket to hold supplies like pens and stapler, and taller items like a neck form for jewelry organization and a brass lamp for extra work light. This mix of globally inspired items tells a story that is vintage inspired and elegant, yet approachable and cozy. For those of you that like dark colors and a mix of design styles from mid-century to modern. On the floor, I'm bringing in this dark toned rug that establishes some pattern and texture without being too loud. A fun metal hashtag on the wall is a bold statement along with a large black and white sketch of a cactus. Hung on command hooks, of course. Collage a mix of quotes and black and white photographs using washi tape, which you can add to like a mood board as the year progresses. Dark blue bedding anchors the bed and gives us a mixed print moment when paired with the rug. Now let's make this bed more inviting with a mix of patterned and fuzzy throw pillows. Designate a reading area with a potted plant, butterfly chair, side table, and minimal pendant light hung above. The great thing about this style of chair is you can fold them up super easily if space is needed. 
Beside the bed, an acrylic table brings a lightweight moment next to the dark bedding, and an architectural brass lamp brings in height. A crochet poof for more seating, and a DIY wall pocket for more storage. At the desk, add a modern Eam style chair and a classic white lamp for some lighter tones that play with the eclectic mix of styles. If you're sick of sticky strips, you can prop your art up on your desk instead of hanging it. And the finishing touches of personality like plants, pitchers, and mugs complete this powerful space. This room is fun, with a capital F. We're starting with a copper pipe hung on strong twine and attached to the wall or ceiling with strong command hooks, as well as some cool pendant lights hung over the desk. Bring in a pastel rug with a geometric pattern, as well as a bright throw blanket and throw pillows that play with a mix of peach and pink tones, and more geometric, tribal looking prints. On the copper pipe, I'm draping a DIY tie-dyed piece of linen that brings so much height and drama to this petite bed. Copper is the metal tone choice for this room and we can bring in more of that with another DIY wall pocket and drum style side table. Now for a functional copper moment at the foot of the bed, this DIY copper pipe ladder with clips tied on provides storage and display options. A tiered rolling cart provides storage for cosmetics and office supplies and a viney plant adds whimsy. And no whimsical room is complete without a unicorn lamp and a glitter Polaroid frame. Duh. Now for my favorite moment in this room, I used a roll of donut print wrapping paper to create a floor to ceiling strip of delicious looking pattern. Some more triangles of wrapping paper in another pattern create a frame like effect for a giant black and white print. Copper gem shapes on the wall celebrate the geometry in the pillows and more pops of color accessories on the desk bring in so much personality. I love it, so fun. Okay, I personally cannot pick my favorite room. What's your favorite? Is it boho? Is it our unisex graphic, cool, a little bit darker tones? Or is it the color pop, fun, blast of just quirkiness room? I don't know, it's really hard to pick. I like elements of all of them. I would love to hear from you in the comments though. Please let me know what your favorite is or if you do any of these. Because remember, all of these techniques that we use in this space don't have to just apply to dorms if you are out of college like moi. You can use these in your current bedrooms, in your small spaces, in your anything. But we did follow those dorm rules, so all of it is removable and will leave no trace of our fabulousness. We do, however, want to see a trace of your fabulousness, so please take a moment, click on that subscriber button. And all you need is a Google account, it's really easy. Ah! And hashtag MrKate1 million. When you do, let me know. We'll chat in the comments and on Twitter and Instagram and all those fun places. So thank you so much. Remember that you have the creative spark within you because why not? You can be a creative wonder always and forever. All right, cool. Well, see you later. I'm going to go uh, take a nap because I don't have homework because I finished all of it like 10, 10 years ago. <laughs> Bye. Mr. Kate, I'm so 
excited about this DIY. I know I say that about every DIY, guys, but it's especially true with this one. We are making geometric wall storage pockets. Oh. 